James DeRigo and I'll be reviewing the Audio-Technica System 10 new digital wireless microphone system. I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm going to tell you a real story and I'm going to tell you about this new technology and, and why it's important. I put together a 10-piece band for a dear friend of mine, Dominic Allen, formerly a foreigner, and our special guest Denny Lane, formerly of the Moody Blues and Wings in a rock concert in Las Vegas in a major venue. This venue had 12 RF microphones. Almost all of them were being in use for the concert. And I needed to provide wireless microphone capacity for the horn section. Uh, the house didn't have it, so I brought a bunch of units in myself. All of them were UHF. All of them were between 650 uh, and 700 in frequency. And I also brought the new System 10 Audio-Technica system. The belt pack transmitter and the receiver which you know it looks like your Wi-Fi, your router that you get for your normal cable setup. It's lightweight, it's really an input and a volume switch and uh, a power switch. Basically it turns itself on when you plug it in. It's very simple, very lightweight. The belt pack, two AA batteries, a little switch on the inside which I'll tell you about in a second, and uh, very simply operates by press and holding the one button on the exterior until you get a light. The light denotes your channel and you're good to go. If you need to mute, you mute. You need to unmute, you unmute. It all happens from one button. It's a fantastic little system. So lightweight, you don't need the case, you don't need anything. It fits in a small purse. It sometimes fits in my saxophone case when I don't want to carry an extra bag. It's very lightweight. Um, you don't have to think any more of a big metal rack and something that has to be cased or something that has to be racked anymore. This stuff is just, throw it in your case and go. It's amazing. I was using the ATM... 350 microphone, Audio-Technica's great, great, great horn microphone. In my opinion, one of the best microphones out there, bar none, the price notwithstanding. Audio-Technica likes their four-pin design, beautiful systems. They work flawlessly with themselves. You can also get this unit with a guitar cable input. You can also order a lavalier and any myriad of their proprietary four-pin microphone setups. So it's very versatile in that regard. Well, back to the story. One of the radios hit on four different microphones and caused radio frequency hell in the house. The sound guy spent two hours trying to sort out these, these radios from interfering with each other. Uh, you know, it's not uncommon. We know about that. We know that the government is selling off UHF and, and we may lose the 600s in Pro Audio altogether and that's all we've got left really that works. But the problem persisted because everything was so close together in the UHF band. Um, but one thing that didn't have one problem, this digital Wi-Fi system on a 2.4 gigahertz uh, mode. It sounds as good as if it were wired and I say that, believe me, I've worked this microphone hardwired and with this system and it's almost impossible to tell the difference in how they sound and how they work. But in practicality, here's the reality of it. We had four UHF systems interfering with each other because there was so much RF on stage. It was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. You don't need to deal with that in performance. You want to solve the problem. You want to move on. That didn't happen with UHF everything's too confused, everything's too crowded, and we're losing more frequencies as the days go on. Television and cable are going to get all of that. But listen, on stage, once everything was sorted, one of the guys had a battery drop on him. His mic went out. Okay, it went out quietly. But what happened when he went to go change the battery? We had to communicate with the sound guy. We had to mute the sound and the monitors in the house shut off his system, change the battery, give the signal, power it back up, 
front of house guy missed the cue, opened the channel, turned on, crack, right in the middle of a piece of music. That's the UHF system. Guess what happens with this when it stops working? It just goes quiet. You don't hear crackle, you don't hear RF, you don't hear, you know, CB radios coming in on your frequency, nothing. It just goes quiet. You open up the back, you change the batteries, you turn it on, you get no noise. It's unbelievable, it's simple, it's really cost effective. Think differently about how you travel with wirelesses now because Audio-Technica lets you take eight of these units without touching anything to coordinate them. You buy eight units, the handheld, the belt pack, in any combination, eight of these will work together without you having to touch and synchronize anything. These are Wi-Fi units, they're quiet as if they're on wired microphones, they really are unbelievable. I really suggest that you get down to your local music store, take a look at these units, rethink how you look at your wireless. I think everybody should have something, especially in these frequencies that are not overly crowded and then perform flawlessly on stage. Three, two, one. Yeah, I like that radio. Uh, anybody could bring it into any venue and not interfere with the UHF systems that they're already using. Uh, it provides a clear... Uh, uninterrupted tone, it's great, uh, the quality of the sound was just uh, like anything I would use at any high professional level, a uh, great cost effective system for any consumer level musician uh, that uh, can go into any venue and, and have a reliable system at their fingertips. So that's the uh, new Audio Technica System 10, System uh, 10 2.4 uh, gigahertz wireless unit with the ATM 350 clip-on microphone. Correct, that we used uh, on your saxophone that is actually great. Uh, sounds good and is very reliable. That's Nate Pellegrini, monitor engineer, Samstown Live, Samstown in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ciao. So I'm going to go now.